Shepard. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers, and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close? I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... <laughs> more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. I don't know how you deal with all the politics. It's a pain in the ass. As I recall, you gave me the job. Yeah, sorry about that. Just remember, the more they complain, the more you know you're accomplishing something. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver, and now we're running from foxhole to foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you've already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morton. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. <laughs> oh, poor Rex. Commander, that was a skillful operation back on Sir Kesh. Extracting the female Krogan. I had help. Warden Solis knew what he was doing. Yes, Garrus mentioned the doctor was on your mission through the Omega-4 relay. I'm surprised the Solarian cares about the Krogan. War is full of surprises. <laughs> Rarely the good kind. I'm just happy this one played to our advantage. That's all. Of course, Commander. Cerberus is attacking civilians on bedding. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Oh. I, I told you I would end up going to bending eventually. You know, my lab studied the Ragni. Long distance communication with no timeline, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long range communication without quantum entanglement, Maybe when this war is over. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. Commander? Just make sure you write it down so you don't forget. Don't worry, Edie. 
Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has olfactory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? Apparently, he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, you learn from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. <laughs> Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. Commander? Shepard, I had a question about human behavior. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. The Asari word she used translates as blabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Tell me about it. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Come on, Shepard. Stop jogging slowly. Run up. Oh, I went down to engineering first. I wanted to go to the creek quarters first. Cinema. beating yourself up. It was crazy of me to ask you to join the Normandy back then. But I let you down. I let Shepard down. I let everyone listed on that memorial wall down. You had the courage to support Shepard. Joker did. Garrus and Tally did. But Caden didn't. Liara didn't. Were they cowards? I think not. Craig, you're one of the bravest and most loyal men I know. You were meant to be here right now we have a war to win so clear your head and focus <laughs> okay okay you win it will not be mentioned again really engineer adam's first name is greg hello commander commander There is in the lounge. See, I told you they move around. Ooh, wrong way. The other way. Wasn't the first time I faced Ragnine. Really? You've seen them before? A few years back, on Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragnine Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. But mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead reapers now. Siding with the giant spiders again, huh, Shepard? Let's hope this finally pays off. Most people have never even seen Arachni. The Normandy? We're a regular safari tour. <laughs> if I never see another spider again, I'll die a contented Turian. Unless they have spiders in the afterlife. Damn. Shepard. No, 
that would mm, perhaps stimulate cell regeneration with a mm, 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 could oh ah uh, but should test with mm, 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 that's worse Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. What can you tell me about the shroud? Climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. And your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process begins. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan, stabilize climate, impress population. Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in the meantime. Now, we're not going to go off to the Shroud just yet. Other things to do first. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five Exonex Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvak. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvak. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Power diamonds or power which has been. I will go with which has been. Busy. I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only a hundred and nine, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. Good to see you again, Shepard. Greetings, Commander. I'm not going to see why Glyph said that, because I walked through the door, they were in the middle of a conversation. She's smarter than Angelina Gelati. Gelati would have jumped on that story. Kenneth, do you ever think about when we were abducted by... No, I don't. Me neither.
there was no such thing as trusting the Arachni in our cycle. They were animals. But if they will fight them... You said you used them as weapons? Oh, yay, good. Overlapping words again. When we knew of them, the Arachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Arachni were well suited to harsh conditions. So we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked, until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. I am glad I met the grunt Krogan. Living in his quarters, I have come to know him better. He will fight the Reapers with great ferocity. I would prefer to be alone. I hate it when there's overlapping words. I waited a couple of seconds before I, I clicked on him just in case he was having a conversation with somebody. But we get overlapping words anyway. opposite of a horseshoe up your ass. <laughs> I like James's response to that. I don't know. This is the way he says that. It just makes me laugh. Grunt is crazier than you, and that's saying something. You're better looking at me. Hey. Uh, it's just the way he reacts to that. Oh. <laughs> uh. Sometimes uh, something new pops up, so I like to check these every time. Nope, nothing, no, okay. 